What Chojam Trungpa Rinpoche, what he has brought, and what he has contributed to the Buddha Dharma, it's mind-boggling. My name is Tilly Parks. I'm doing my master's in Buddhist studies at the School of Religious Studies at McGill University in Montreal. Hi. Buongiorno. <laughs> Buongiorno. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I made the trip out to Nova Scotia with the help of the Kensei Foundation. I arrived in the beginning of May. Every morning I wake up and do research at the Shambhala archives where Trungpa Rinpoche's work and all of his possessions are stored. There are 350 unpublished poems. There are 20,000 letter correspondences. There is a lot more to be said about how much continuity there was with where he came from with his traditional roots. I think that is a kind of untold story, and I think that really deserves more attention. These are the originals of Trungpa Rinpoche's poetry. Here we have these kind of old original manuscripts where he would have typed this 1969 poem. So I'm working on Trungpa Rinpoche's English poetry, and I'm specifically looking at the ways in which he took the themes of sort of more classical Tibetan genres and folk genres, he translated those into his English poetry and played with the forms and the genres and created something new. He was really close with Allen Ginsberg and Anne Waldman and all of these accomplished poets. They really influenced his work. He influenced them as well too, I think. This copy for Chigyam Trungpa Vijadara from his student Allen Ginsberg, hoping he's pleased by the blue cover. February 3rd, 1987, New York City. Chigyam Trungpa Rimche had a profound effect on not just popular, what you'd call popular Buddhism in the West, but also on um, academic or scholarly Buddhism. For one thing, he really defined the vocabulary that was going to be used in, in English, and he's noted for that in the Oxford English Dictionary. Then there's also the Dharma itself. I mean, the teachings that he actually gave, you know, 30 years after he died, new books are still coming out. And I think there's probably a lot of stuff that will resonate for a long time to come. The scholarship that I got from the Kensei Foundation was really an incredible gift. It allowed me to go to school and do this program, and I wouldn't have been able to do that without them. 